We are back now at 7.30 here on CBS Mornings, and we're talking about a growing danger, something that parents need to be aware of. It involves cars and trucks, which get bigger every year, and as they do so, the blind spots are getting larger as well, even in the front of the vehicles. We visited a top testing lab to get a better idea of what drivers can see and what they cannot see right in front of them. As Chris Van Cleve reports, this is a problem responsible for hundreds of traffic fatalities every year. <laughs> Four-year-old Hudson Foshy was a vibrant little boy. Lost in a preventable accident. In January 2019, his mother Jackie was pulling into the driveway. She thinks Hudson ran to get the mail, but from inside her full-size SUV, she says she never saw him. I was kind of like running around everywhere looking for him, and then I looked under the car and he was there. Vehicles have a blind zone directly in front of the hood that grows with the size of the car. Americans' shift to larger trucks and SUVs comes as deaths from these front-over crashes more than doubled in five years, killing over 500 in 2020. Experts say the victims are often small children. I miss my son. I miss his hugs. I miss watching him grow up. And what would he have been? I don't know what my child would have been or what he would have grown up to be. Inside their test facility, Consumer Reports shows us how much a driver can't see. Watch as these four young children leapfrog forward another four full spots, and they're still out of view. I can see Dylan's head. So do we get nine kids there? That zone is far longer <laughs> than you think. Consumer Reports tested the front blind zones of 15 vehicles, ranging from about three feet for a small sports car to as much as 15 feet for one full-sized pickup. There are the equivalent of eight kids in front of this car right now. I can't see a single one. Barry Rosen is Consumer Reports Communications Director and the mom of 10-year-old Dylan, who is hidden from her view as she sits in this pickup truck. That's insane. That's absolutely horrifying. Consumer Reports showed us three different demos. The larger the car, the larger the blind zone. Do you think there's a good enough understanding amongst drivers about the area they cannot see? I don't, I don't think so. I think people feel actually much better protected in the larger vehicle. But what they're not realizing is now the area directly around them has been compromised. They cannot see that as well as they would have in a shorter, smaller, lower hood height vehicle. The technology is there. It is fully affordable. Check. Connecticut Senator Richard Blumenthal is now proposing legislation to make front-facing cameras and collision avoidance sensors standard. The technology already exists, but the camera is often an expensive add-on. It's similar to backup cameras, required on all new vehicles since 2018. Safety should not be a premium feature. It should be standard just like airbags and seat belts. Jackie Foshi agrees and hopes her family's tragedy can help make cars safer. I would never want another parent to experience this. It's terrible. Automakers tell CBS News safety is a top priority, and vehicles continue to get even more safe as automakers test, develop, and integrate new safety technologies. If you don't have a forward-facing camera in your vehicle already, safety experts and the auto industry recommend doing a walk around the car before you get in. For CBS Mornings, I'm Chris Van Cleve in Washington. Right, but of course, a lot of people just got to get where they're going. And you're they're rushing. The car, yeah. And they're rushing, and they're thinking the car, they think what they can see out their windshield is everything they need to see. And right. what mm -hmm. Chris just laid out in, in incredible detail is that there's a huge zone, particularly with these bigger vehicles, yeah. of what you can't see, and the result can be unbelievable tragedy. As we see, devastating. I'm so glad the mother's sharing her story because I can't imagine the feeling, yeah. and the horror that you realize after you're looking for your child. And I thought Senator Blumenthal is correct. Safety features should not be an option. That shouldn't be an extra. That should, should be, be it, yeah. That should exactly absolutely be standard. Be standard. Yeah. Especially as these cars get more technologically advanced, right. like we yeah. should have the cameras and the sensors in the front of the car just like we have in the it back. It shouldn't be another money-making opportunity. You put the tech in and then you sell it. It should be a standard part of what the safety package is, the baseline. No doubt. But guys, I didn't realize you couldn't see in front of the car. I thought that's what I thought was so interesting. Yeah. I know ab about the back, but yeah. I didn't realize if you have a big SUV, you can't really see what's in front of what's right underneath your yeah. windshield. Me neither. Yeah. And I'm Very sure a lot scary. of SUV drivers don't realize it either. Yes. Very strong piece.